So I would say what I've noticed with my menopausal brain is that I'm quick to react. So I see something stressful and the amygdala has a whole story about what is going on. You know, let's use the fa- the house not being clean. Let's just use that. You know, it's like they don't love me enough to know that I like the house to be clean. You know, my adult children, I didn't train them well enough to clean the kitchen. You know, like all the stories the amygdala wanted to tell me. I, I always say that the amygdala and the hippocampus gang up on the brain because the amygdala goes and dips into memories in the hi- hippocampus. And it's like, remember the time that happened and that happened. I had the thought. I walked in the door and I was like, oh, God, this kitchen. And then I could smell garlic. My son and his friend were making garlic bread in the oven. They were like so excited to tell me about the menu that they had and what they were cooking. And I immediately went from the house, like within seconds, the house is a mess to, I love that my 21-year-old son loves to cook. I love that all his friends are here and filling my house with love. Like I switched in an instant and that was brand new. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. So part of how that happens, let me sort of dissect it a little bit. Yeah. One is because the prefrontal cortex is also are responsible for inhibition. So it's the mm-hmm. one that inhibits the activity of, you know, I feel like I'm crazy. And then your prefrontal cortex comes in. It's like, let's inhibit that action. So it's inhibiting your amygdala and it's giving you perspective. So there's another part of the brain that is activated when you meditate, and that is the TPJ, the temporal parietal junction. And it's the part of the brain that's responsible for empathy, compassion, and perspective taking. So in that very moment, in that experience you had, you had three different things that meditation helps you do. You had the calming of the amygdala so that that reactivity, you know, didn't happen. The prefrontal cortex coming in and inhibiting. You had the prefrontal cortex taking new perspectives, like sort of, it's called metacognition. We'll talk about it in a minute. And then you had the Temporal parietal junction, the TPJ, giving you empathy, compassion, and perspective taking. So that was, you know, meditation in that moment. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was really, and then I just sort of watched myself and thought, wow, this is a different reaction than I've been having. And I, and you know, I think part of this, the root of what we're talking about that I want all women to understand is that I've been very articulate with my family. Like my brain is different. I'm working on it. And so they understand like the changes that I've had. And so I think that it's really important that we do as menopausal women to, and perimenopausal women, like talk about this. And they're probably happy to see me react differently for sure. But it's just really interesting when your brain gets it's hijacked and now it comes back online. You're like, oh, I remember you. You're back. <laughs> That's how I felt on Saturday. So it was amazing. So thank you for all you've done with Muse because that was small bits of me training it to get me to that moment. So I will tell you one thing that I found because I, in all the research I've done, I know meditation is good. But when I sit down the last couple of years, the amygdala just has a whole lot to say to me and I can't quiet it. So I've tried breath meditation. I've tried listening to music. I've tried a guided meditation, but something about the muse and the rain and all those things, like it just makes it, I don't know, it made it like effortless for me. 